nice outside today. What's going on everybody and welcome back to the Tacoma Holic channel. So you guys know I love modding my Tacoma. But there are three things on my Tacoma I will always leave stock. Okay, so to be fair, there are two of the three things you have to change on your truck whether you want to or not. But for these purposes, when I replace those, I will be going with genuine Toyota part replacements. And all three of the things I'm talking about today are under the hood. Wow, so just to address this real quick before I know you guys are going to point it out. After popping my hood, I did realize, yes, I have got to clean my engine bay soon. So that video is coming. Don't worry about that. And the first thing on the list is the air filter for your engine. Yes, you do need to change the air filter, but every time I'm gonna change mine, I am sticking with the genuine Toyota air filter replacement, which I have a video on this if you have no idea how to do it, and there is a link for the actual air filter on Amazon. I'll go ahead and link to the video up above and the air filter down in the bottom. So why am I not going to change my air filter when you can get all kinds of cool aftermarket replacements such as K&N, all those, you know, drop-in filters. I'm not talking about the whole system right here, just the air filter, which it's not really rectangular in the Tacomas. It's sort of like a weird trapezoid in case you don't know what it looks like. As far as the engine's concerned, I'm a firm believer that Toyota engineers know what they're doing. That's one of the things Toyota is known for is their reliability. So the engineers obviously know what they're doing. And if they design this air filter to work with the, in my case, four liter V6, I trust that it's gonna do just that and be fine. And I know there's tons of great aftermarket counterparts out there, specifically like the K&N. They're supposed to give you more horsepower, increase your gas mileage, all that stuff. And in the case of the K&Ns, they're even reusable, so you just get the special oil cleaner to clean them off so you don't even have to keep buying a new filter which does sound nice, but I sort of priced the uh, the cleaner kits and those are sort of ridiculously expensive. So for the price of one cleaner kit, you can get three or four of the factory filters. And since the filter is not something you need to change that often, I'm definitely gonna go ahead and stick with that. Plus I've heard all kinds of horror stories about people using too much oil and getting some of that oil sucked back into the engine, causing all kinds of mechanical problems. So easiest way to avoid that is not even have to deal with it at all. Plus, as far as any horsepower gains or miles per hour, even if you do get anything, and you know, this is one of those things that's highly debated on, you know, if you should get an aftermarket intake or not. And you know, that's one of those things, people love it or hate it, there's really no middle ground. Uh, I don't really go for the whole aftermarket cold intake, gonna really give you any noticeable power or noticeable miles per gallon increase for your Tacoma. Sort of one of those snake oil things. Some of you may like it, so, you know, please comment below. We can have a friendly discussion about that. But for me, definitely sticking with the factory air filter for my truck. Okay, and second on the list, it obviously compares with and is very similar to the air filter. I will never change the air intake, the whole system on my Tacoma. And the reason I separated this into two things is because you can just get drop-in air filters to be used with your stock the whole air in intake system. And of course you can get whole air intake systems that replace this whole piece right here that's obviously covered in dirt that goes all the way to your air box into your engine. You can get that whole replacement. So why am I not going ahead and replacing the air filter system? Well, it's just like I said with the air filter, I trusted Toyota engineers know what they're doing. And again, a lot of people are under the misconception that adding a cold air intake is really going to help your engine out a lot, but the factory Tacoma intake is in fact cold air. If you can see the filters here, engine, the pipe, the inlet for all this is actually right here in the fender wheel. And if you actually come down here, it's right about up here in this area. So since the inlet for that air is outside of the engine bay, and if, you know, I just drove over here to the mall parking lot, you can tell once you pop the hood, the air on the inside is much warmer, obviously, because your engine's running then the ambient temperature, so that is in fact a cold air intake. You even see some that say they're cold air intakes, that they have the tube right here, and then the cone filter or whatever just sitting right here in the engine bay. Yes, some are sealed, but some are just open to the elements. And I already did a separate video on that, which I will link to above. 
we're going over why I don't think having an exposed filter in your engine bay, at least for air filter, is a good idea anyway. Obviously, you can see right here is proof with all the dirt and crap I have on my engine. Imagine if all that was just sitting on your air filter, gunking it up, blocking all that air from getting into the engine, doing what it's supposed to do. And last but not least, you can see it. I just drew a little smiley face on it to make it stand out a little more since it is filthy under my hood. I apologize for that. Engine oil filter, I will always use a Toyota Genuine Parts oil filter. Again, just like with the air filters, there are a hundred different kinds of oil filters you can buy. They're all claiming they're better, better filtration, better filters, they last longer, all that stuff. And just like I mentioned with the other two things, I still trust the Toyota engineers, even with the oil system, to make a filter that's going to do exactly what it was designed to do for this specific engine. So for me, Toyota oil filter all the way. I actually just bought a case of five of these. You can get these from the dealers all the time. I just bought a case of five on Amazon. It was like 25 bucks, so $5 a piece. And it actually was shipped to me from a dealer, I want to say in Pennsylvania, but I thought that was kind of weird. It didn't come directly from Amazon. All right, everyone, I thought it'd be fun to do this quick video because you guys know I love changing just about everything on my truck. And here's three, of course, three things under the hood that I will never change or stick with the Toyota one. So if you agreed or disagreed with these choices, please comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And I'm also curious to see what other things you guys will never change on your Tacoma, or if you have things you can't wait to change on your Tacoma, please comment below. If this is your first time stopping by, please consider subscribing. Give the video a like and help me grow the channel by sharing it with your friends and family on social media. Enjoy the rest of your week and I will see you in the next video.